Advances in endoscopic technology have broadened the opportunities for endoscopically performed minimally invasive surgical procedures, therefore increasing benefits to patients such as reduced recovery times, decreased side effects, and decreased cost. This new era of continually less invasive surgery is made possible by new and improved endoscopic surgical instruments that allow doctors to perform endoscopic surgeries through natural orifices such as the mouth while also keeping all the incisions internal, which ultimately quickens recovery time. One condition that can now be repaired using endoscopic surgical technique is Zenker's diverticulum. Zenker's diverticulum is an outpouching sac of mucosa, the inner layer of tissue, that forms in an area of muscular weakness in the wall at the junction of the pharynx, the throat behind the mouth, and the esophagus, known as the pharyngeoesophageal junction. A diverticulum may form due to excessive pressure resulting in any one of a variety of physiologic problems which ultimately leads to the sac formation. There can be a variety of symptoms associated with larger diverticula such as difficulty swallowing, the feeling of a lump in the throat, regurgitation of food particles which can cause coughing, and bad breath resulting from the entrapped food particles. New endoscopic technology allows for the access and effective treatment of Zenker's diverticula. First, an experienced fellowship-trained interventional endoscopist accesses the esophagus by inserting an endoscope through the mouth and into the pharyngeoesophageal junction. Once the location is observed and confirmed with the aid of fluoroscopy, an imaging technique similar to heart catheterization, the doctor uses a specialized knife to cut the septum of the diverticulum which is the tissue that separates the diverticulum from the esophagus. The knife also cauterizes or burns the tissue so preventing bleeding. This procedure which eliminates the diverticulum is known as a diverticulotomy. If necessary, at the time of the procedure the doctor may place endoscopic clips to help the tissue heal properly. After the procedure the scope is removed. The diverticulotomy allows the free flow of food and liquid down the esophagus preventing the entrapment of food and liquid. Because the endoscopic approach for a Zenker's diverticulum removal leads to a shorter recovery times, patients feel remarkable improvements in one to two days, after which there is a gradual introduction of liquids and solid food over the course of a week. Please note that this is a minimally invasive surgery performed by doctors with specific fellowship training in this and other techniques during a formal advanced interventional and surgical endoscopy fellowship. This training is the key to minimizing complications such as bleeding, perforation, and infection. In proficient hands, the technique has been performed on numerous patients at Parkview with very favorable outcomes, so directly benefiting patients that have Zenker's diverticulum.